evening. I'm Dave Morris. Thanks for clicking on the play. Uh, some of the stories we're working on today involve school shelters, an update on the downtown boulevard, and of course a preview of tonight's Thunder Spurs matchup. Over a span of two weeks in 2013, though, Oklahoma was subject to some of the deadliest tornadoes to strike the United States. The outbreak, outbreak first started on May 18th, but one of the largest storms touched down the afternoon of May 20th. That EF5 storm claimed 24 lives, injured dozens of people, and caused billions of dollars in damage. Tomorrow morning, the city of Moore, along with the Norman Regional Health System, will hold a remembrance ceremony paying tribute to those lost in the storm. The Moore Medical Center was destroyed in that tornado, and the ceremony will conclude tomorrow with the groundbreaking of a new health care facility. Our crews will be there for the event, and you can watch the ceremony live right here on NewsOK.com tomorrow morning around 10 o'clock. A year after May 20th, political issues have snarled movement on school shelters. In the meantime, schools are doing what they can to patch together funding in tough times. Our Juliana Keeping talks to local and state officials about the ongoing debate regarding shelters in schools. Look for that story in tomorrow's editions. The Oklahoma Department of Transportation is getting a mixed response for the outcome of its redesigns and scoring of those redesigns of the future downtown boulevard. The boulevard is seen as either a boost or a potential killer, depending on design, of redevelopment of the area south of downtown, known as Corridor Shore. Our Steve Lackmire will have more on the continuing discussion and which option seems to be garnering the most support. The Western Conference Finals in the NBA playoffs begins tonight. The Thunder traveled to San Antonio. They'll take on the Spurs tip-off set for around 8 p.m. Our team of reporters, photographers, and our videographer, Damon Fontenot, will have highlights and a breakdown of the matchup in tomorrow's editions of The Oklahoman and online at NewsOK.com. Temperatures will be in or close to the 90s for the next several days. There's the seven-day forecast. Could see some showers and storms begin on Friday, which will be a welcome change to see that rain. There is a 40% chance of precipitation. The chance for showers and storms will continue through the holiday weekend. That'll do it for this episode of The Play. Again, Thunder Spurs later tonight. We'll have recaps online at newsok.com. And these stories and more can be found in upcoming editions of The Oklahoma.